Hey everybody, AZ Plant Reviews here. Today I am going to show you the Natal Plum. Uh, some people might call it a boxwood. There's a bunch of different common names that include the phrase boxwood in it. But uh, the most common name used by nurseries and stuff is the Natal Plum. I'll include the scientific name in the description. They actually do make little plums that come out of these flowers. Flowers smell really good, by the way. They're like related to jasmines. They smell so freaking good. And I am embracing that smell right now. But yeah, so these guys are strong out here. They, I think they're native to South Africa, somewhere around there. But they can handle Arizona pretty well. As long as they got good water going to them, they can be in full sun just like this. Though they kind of grow these like smaller leaf clusters and maybe get a little bit sunburned in the peak of the summer but they're strong they make these awesome flowers just once a year though right now which happens to be like early may this year sometimes it's earlier sometimes it's later right now it's happening in may um again have irrigation with them oh god a truck is coming um but yeah i love the natal plum it makes a really good kind of hedge setup like if you want a hedge you want to create like a low and but thick layer of bushes you can plant a series of natal plums um they don't get super tall i guess in california they get pretty tall but out here they don't get too much taller than this one right here about four feet tall that but they're very strong they're tough um they will occasionally just lose an entire branch you'll have to chop that out and it'll look hollow and ugly on the inside but then it'll kind of fill in over time or you could rejuvenate it and just chop it straight to the ground let it restart and it'll be nice and even after that doesn't really get too many diseases if it gets sunburned from like an especially hard summer where you like accidentally forget to turn off the water then it'll look bad for a really long time unless you chop it straight back to the ground and hope for the best they live for a long time uh, most of the creatures don't eat them um Hummingbirds enjoy the flowers, bees enjoy the flowers, but uh, no real natural predators out here in Arizona. Um, I don't know if the, f the, p the plums that they make are edible, so I wouldn't try it until you look it up. But if you see a little fruit looking thing on there, know that it is indeed related to like actual plums, just very distantly. <laughs> All right, I am going to give the natal plum a seven out of ten good content not the best but very cool very cool if you're native to arizona you would have gotten a higher score anyway let me know you want me to review next time Bye bye